Okay, you guys, this next class is an advanced suspension class. Let's get this party started. For this segment, I want you guys to connect your suspension kit to a high anchor point. I want you guys to watch me. Okay guys, we're gonna stir the pot for this next exercise. So I'm gonna start with my nice triangle base. So I've got weight on both my elbows and my fists as well. So I'm creating a nice sturdy base. I'm gonna lift right up from here and we're gonna stir the pot. So we're gonna work one direction for five reps and then we're gonna change it and work the other direction for five reps as well. We're gonna alternate every five repetitions. Your turn. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's go. So you guys can see as Marilyn's doing this exercise, when she's going into the tuck component, she's raising her hip right up. And then when she's getting into that plank component, she's nice and flat. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Now the other thing to be conscious of is make sure your knees are staying together the whole time. The knees don't leave each other at all. We're doing really, really well. We're about halfway. Let's keep going. So just remembering to change every five repetitions. Now you want to make sure when you're flattening out into your plank, you don't arch your back up. You want to make sure you're protecting your back the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got two more reps, Marilyn. One. And two, you're done. Okay guys, an abs glide for this exercise. So I'm gonna go parallel with my hands. So I'm holding up train tracks, two straight lines. And what I'm gonna do from here, is I'm gonna lift right up into a plank. I'm gonna start from here. I'm gonna glide right back and pull forward. Glide right back and pull forward. I'm gonna finish it off that way. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys. Let's go. So gliding as far back as you can while we're maintaining that plank. So you wanna make sure you're not arching up your back. Make sure you hold on to your parallel lines and just keep that steady pace going all the way. Let's go for two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Okay guys, we're gonna work some infinities with this one. So this is how it works. We're gonna start off um, as an atomic crunch and then we're gonna send it out and flatten out into a plank like that. Okay, let's go again. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, Marilyn. So you guys can see a nice lift as she's getting into that atomic crunch and then letting go really slowly, flattening out with your feet together and pulling it back into the next repetition. Perfect. These are fantastic. Let's keep them going. So it comes down to the control when you're releasing, you guys. You've got to make sure it's controlled, it's nice and slow and you want to finish nice and flat in a plank. Perfect. We've got three more, Marilyn. One last one. Fantastic. You're done. Let's get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises.
All right, guys, let's get started. Let's go. So you guys can see as Marilyn's doing this exercise, when she's going into the tuck component, she's raising her hip right up. And then when she's getting into that plank component, she's nice and flat. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Now the other thing to be conscious of is make sure your knees are staying together the whole time. The knees don't leave each other at all. We're doing really, really well. We're about halfway, let's keep going. So just remembering to change every five repetitions. Now, you want to make sure when you're flattening out into your plank, you don't arch your back up. You want to make sure you're protecting your back the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got two more reps, Marilyn. One and two. You're done. Okay, guys, I want to work in with you guys. Let's go. So gliding as far back as you can while we're maintaining that plank. So you want to make sure you're not arching up your back. Make sure you hold on to your parallel lines and just keep that steady pace going all the way. Go for two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Okay, let's get into it, Marilyn. So you guys can see a nice lift as she's getting into that atomic crunch and then letting go really slowly flattening out with your feet together and pulling it back into the next repetition. Perfect. These are fantastic. Let's keep them going. So it comes down to the control when you're releasing you guys. You've got to make sure it's controlled. It's nice and slow. And you want to finish nice and flat in a plank. Perfect. We've got three more melon. One last one. Fantastic. You're done. Okay, guys, we're on the floor for this one. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna get into a tabletop position. I'm gonna work a crunch. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go into an oblique tilt. Once to the right, once to the left. And start from the beginning. Crunch, oblique tilt, Oblique tilt, rest. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see really good range crunches while she's keeping her back, lower back glued to the ground. Um, the other thing you can see is with those oblique crunches, she's shifting towards her hip. So it's like drawing a small letter C, which is spot on, because that gives you a really, really good crunch. These are looking fantastic. What you want to make sure you do is maintain your tabletop the whole time, keep a nice steady base down there, and we're just working from the belly button up. One more rep. And have a rest. Okay guys, I want you to watch carefully for this one because this one's a little bit tricky. We're rolling three exercises into one. So we're gonna start off with the jackknife crunch. So from here, that's your jackknife crunch right there. Now, as I come back out, I'm gonna go into a hips raise and then I'm gonna go into a leg curl. Finish there, okay? So we're gonna go again. So jackknife crunch, hips raise, leg curl. Your turn. Okay, 
Okay, let's get into it, you guys. So this one might take a little bit for you to wrap your head around. So jackknife crunch, hitting your bridge now, and then into your leg curl. That's it. Perfect. Good. So just think one, two, three, and start at the beginning again. Let's keep working. Excellent. So you want to make sure you're finishing both ends of the jackknife crunch at the same time. Got two more reps, Marilyn. And time. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into it, guys. So you guys can see really good range crunches while she's keeping her back, lower back glued to the ground. Um, the other thing you can see is with those oblique crunches, she's shifting towards her hip. So it's like drawing a small letter C, which is spot on because that gives you a really, really good crunch. These are looking fantastic. What you want to make sure you do is maintain your tabletop the whole time, keep a nice steady base down there, and we're just working from the belly button up. One more rep. And have a rest. Okay, let's get into it, you guys. So this one might take a little bit for you to wrap your head around. So jackknife crunch, hitting your bridge now, and then into your leg curl. That's it. Perfect. Good. So just think one, two, three, and start at the beginning again. Let's keep working. Excellent. So you want to make sure you're finishing both ends of the jackknife crunch at the same time. Got two more reps, Marilyn. And time. All right, guys, I've got another tough one for you. So what we'll do from here, I'm going to get into my push-up position. So we're going to work a renegade push-up from here. Once I come up, I'm going to go atomic crunch on one side and then the other side. Just like that. Your turn. Guys, I'm going to do this with you. Let's go. So you can see the knees are staying together for this one. And I'm just working them right through. Guys, keeping up. Let's keep going. One last rep. Let's go. And you're done. Okay, guys, with one leg hooked, we're going to hold a plank, and from there, we're going to work some donkey kicks. I'm going to show you how. So from here, I'm going to lift, I'm going to go into the knee strike, up into a donkey kick, and back into a knee strike, just like that. Good. 
یک آتن Okay, let's get started guys, go. So knee strike and straight into that donkey kick and we're gonna keep alternating. Now, we're gonna work through this for 45 seconds. We're gonna take five seconds off to switch legs and then we're gonna go for another 45 with the opposite leg. So nice knee strike, we wanna pull that knee strike as close to your chest as you can get it and then we're gonna push right up with your heel. So this is a nice butt lift technique. Let's keep working through. We've got about 15 seconds left on this side, Adriana. So nice control. Let's try and keep smooth, steady motion. Give me two more reps after this. And time. Five seconds to change over, guys. Go. Okay, guys, we've switched to the other side. Let's keep going. So get that knee right through and squeezing right up. Now all the meanwhile, we're gonna try and hold that straight line, we're gonna hold that plank. So you'll find your abs are doing a lot of work and your hip, your TFL on this side is doing a lot of work as well. Good, let's keep him going. We're about halfway on this side. Now I want you to throw that knee right in. Let's try and get to your chest if you can. Three more reps. One last one. And time. Okay guys, we're gonna work some atomic crunches but we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna shoot an atomic crunch straight down the middle and then we're gonna shoot one on either side as well. I'm gonna show you how. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, and back to the beginning. One, two, three. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into it, go. So feet and knees are staying together guys, and you can see Adriana's shooting one right down the middle with the hips lifted and then we're turning to the sides, hitting one on the left and one on the right as well. Let's keep going. So it's really important to flatten right out at the plank component and make sure you're lifting right up so you can get your knees as close to your chest as possible um, when you're doing the actual atomic crunch itself. So let's keep them going, full range movement. We've got about 10 seconds left. Last one. And we're done. Have a rest. All right, guys, we're going to work a double knee strike for this one. Now, I'm going to do it from my knuckles because I like to keep my wrist nice and straight when I do it. But if you want to do it from your hands, that's okay as well. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to lift right up. From here, we're gonna strike, strike, and then other leg. Your turn. Okay, let's go, Marilyn. Good, so you guys can see the first one's shooting right down the pipe, right down the middle, and then feet together and shooting to the outside. So lead with your knees. That's the trick with this one. Make sure your knees are leading. And you just gotta hold tight with your hands, um, either flat on your hands or on your knuckles, whichever one you prefer works. We've got 15 seconds to go on this one. One more rep, and we're done. Good job. 
Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Go. So feet and knees are staying together, guys. And you can see Adriana's shooting one right down the middle with the hips lifted. And then we're turning to the sides, hitting one on the left and one on the right as well. Let's keep going. So it's really important to flatten right out at the plank component. And make sure you're lifting right up so you can get your knees as close to your chest as possible um, when you're doing the actual atomic crunch itself. Let's keep them going, full range movement. And we've got about 10 seconds left. Last one. And we're done, have a rest. Okay, let's go Marilyn. Good, so you guys can see the first one's shooting right down the pipe, right down the middle, and then feet together and shooting to the outside. So lead with your knees. That's the trick with this one. Make sure your knees are leading. And you just gotta hold tight with your hands, um, either flat on your hands or on your knuckles, whichever one you prefer works. We've got 15 seconds to go on this one. One more rep, and we're done. Good job. All right, guys, we're gonna work some renegade rotations or a hand feed through, if you like, for this one. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna lift right up, feet together. I'm side on, starting up here. Now, I'm gonna feed my hand through. I'm gonna get my shoulder to my wrist and come back. Your turn. All right, guys, I'm doing this with you guys. Let's go. Get that full twist and come right back up, stopping right there. So the trick is when I come here, you can see I'm holding a nice straight line, so you've got to maintain that. Got about 15 seconds on this side. Let's keep going. And we're going to change them up. So rolling just like this, and let's keep the action going, don't stop. Full roll, so you can see waist and shoulders are both rolling through and coming back up. Four more. Last one. And you're done. All right guys, so for this one, I'm gonna glue my feet together just like that, turning side on, okay? Now I'm supported by my arm underneath me, so I'm just holding a straight line from um, my elbow all the way to my shoulder. And what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna drop and lift. So it's a side bend, but it's in a lying position. Drop and lift. This is all obliques. 45 seconds on one side. 45 seconds on the other. Your turn. A 
So this starting position with your hip down is also your stretch. So we're going to start from here and we're going to lift from here. Let's go, Adriana. Good. And we're going to drop down. We're getting a stretch and we're tensing back up. We're flexing now. Good. Drop it right down and pick it back up. Perfect. We're going to work on that for 45. And we're going to turn around and hit the other side as well. Let's keep working. So important thing with this one is try and maintain your straight line. Straight line straight across. There's no twisting of the shoulders. Okay, so we're not tilting back and forth. We're just maintaining. Um, and then just keep the feet glued together. Um, knees soft straight and just maintaining a side plank right at the top. Let's keep working. We're doing well. You've got four more reps on this side. Good. I want you guys to challenge yourself. Drop it right down. Pick it right up. One last rep. And time. So five seconds to change over. All right, guys, we've picked it up on the other side now. Let's keep going. Good. So there's some pressure on the shoulders, but we're going to just try and keep that arm as vertical as we can keep it. And keep focusing on your obliques. What I want you to do is I want you to inhale as you're dropping down. Exhale as you're picking it back up. And just keep maintaining that posture. Keep looking for that straight line. Good. It's getting a little bit wobbly now, but that's okay. That's okay. Fight through it. We've got 10 seconds left. Good. You guys can see Adriana really fighting through it. I want you guys to do the same thing. Let's get through. One last rep. And stretch. You're done. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. All right, guys, I'm doing this with you guys. Let's go. Get that full twist and come right back up, stopping right there. So the trick is when I come here, you can see I'm holding a nice straight line. So you've got to maintain that. Got about 15 seconds on this side. Let's keep going. And we're going to change them up. So rolling just like this, and let's keep the action going, don't stop. Full roll, so you can see waist and shoulders are both rolling through and coming back up. Four more. Last one. And you're done. So this starting position with your hip down is also your stretch. So we're going to start from here and we're going to lift from here. Let's go, Adriana. Good. And we're going to drop down. We're getting a stretch and we're tensing back up. We're flexing now. Good. Drop it right down and pick it back up. Perfect. We're going to work on that for 45. And we're going to turn around and hit the other side as well. Let's keep working. So important thing with this one is try and maintain your straight line. Straight line straight across. There's no twisting of the shoulders. Okay, so we're not tilting back and forth. We're just maintaining. Um, and then just keep the feet glued together. Um, knees soft straight and just maintaining a side plank right at the top. Let's keep working, we're doing well. You've got four more reps on this side. Good, I want you guys to challenge yourself. Drop it right down, 
pick it right up. One last rep. And time. So five seconds to change over. All right, guys, we've picked it up on the other side now. Let's keep going. Good. So there's some pressure on the shoulders, but we're going to just try and keep that arm as vertical as we can keep it. And keep focusing on your obliques. What I want you to do is I want you to inhale as you're dropping down. Exhale as you're picking it back up. And just keep maintaining that posture. Keep looking for that straight line. Good. It's getting a little bit wobbly now, but that's okay. That's okay. Fight through it. We've got 10 seconds left. Good. You guys can see Adriana really fighting through it. I want you guys to do the same thing. Let's get through. One last rep. And stretch. You're done. Okay guys, we're gonna work an abs rollout and then we're gonna extend it to a full range angel wing for this one. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll out and from here I'm gonna go to my angel wings and then I'm gonna keep going. Finish out my hips. And this is your rest point between your reps. Let's go for one more rep. get you guys to have a go. Okay guys, I'm going to do this with you. Let's go. So, you can see I'm putting some pauses in there. So you get your rest down here and then you're working for the rest of the um, exercise. Now the hardest point is right here. That's the hardest point right there. And you can see once I extend out, my arms are staying soft straight. I'm not bending my elbows. I'm keeping it soft straight the whole range. The other thing to note is as I roll out, watch, my body doesn't move. So once I'm here, that's it. I'm in place. My body doesn't move anymore. Maintaining that same angle. One last rep. And have a rest. Some shoulder presses into angel wings for this one, guys. So another two-in-one exercise. So what we're gonna do from here is I'm gonna go into a shoulder press, which is in fact a rollout, and then I'm gonna keep that abdominal contraction by going into an angel wing. And you can see my body staying reasonably stationary throughout the whole movement. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys, let's go. So important thing with the shoulder press on this one, guys, have a look, my elbows are coming to my ribs and it's going straight out. I'm not bending this way, you can't do that. You have gotta keep it nice and straight. And then go straight into your angel wings, nice T and straight back in line, okay? Now again, watching for that shoulder press. Just like that, let's keep going. Changing your angle for this exercise. Stepping back is gonna make the exercise a lot harder. Stepping forward is gonna make it a lot easier. So work out where you're at. One more rep. And rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises.
Okay, guys, I'm going to do this with you. Let's go. So you can see I'm putting some pauses in there. So you get your rest down here, and then you're working for the rest of the um, exercise. Now, the hardest point is right here. That's the hardest point right there. And you can see once I extend out, my arms are staying soft straight. I'm not bending my elbows, I'm keeping it soft straight the whole range. The other thing to note is as I roll out, watch, my body doesn't move. So once I'm here, that's it, I'm in place. My body doesn't move anymore. Maintaining that same angle. One last rep. And have a rest. Okay guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys, let's go. So important thing with the shoulder press on this one, guys, have a look. My elbows are coming to my ribs and it's going straight out. I'm not bending this way. You can't do that. You've got to keep it nice and straight. And then go straight into your angel wings. Nice T and straight back in line, okay? Now again, watching for that shoulder press. Just like that. Let's keep going. Changing your angle for this exercise. Stepping back is gonna make the exercise a lot harder. Stepping forward is gonna make it a lot easier. So work out where you're at. One more rep. And rest. So an abs rollout and a stiff leg kickback for this one. So watch. You can see I'm alternating between repetitions. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those Adriana. So you guys can see a nice lengthy rollout and we're kicking back as high as we can with a stiff leg. Now you can also see Adriana's toes are pointing out, so I want you guys to do the same thing. Point your toes right out, trying to reach the most amount of reach that you've got. Good, let's keep working through those. We're doing fine. Killing two birds with one stone here. We're working on the abs. We're also working on the hamstring and glutes as well. Three more reps. One last one. And have a rest, good job. Okay, you guys, this is one of my old favorites. It's called the grandfather clock. So basically, it's like a plank, but you're swinging from left to right as you're holding your plank up. I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna go into a nice triangle base. So just underneath the elbows, holding tight with the hands. And from here, I'm gonna hold my plank up and then I'm gonna start to use my obliques to swing it from left to right, just like that. Okay, and we're gonna ultimately hold up the plank throughout the whole exercise. Your turn. Okay, let's go guys, let's get into it. 
Good, so we want to make sure we're getting full range on both sides. Good, little pauses at the sides, so that means you just got to squeeze your obliques at the sides. Now to challenge yourself for this exercise, you can step further back, okay? And if you find the exercise a little bit too hard for you, um, and you're finding it hard to hold on, step forward and ease off on it a little bit. Let's keep working, we're doing fine over here. We're about halfway, Marilyn. So make sure you're holding up that nice straight plank so you can see Marilyn's doing it perfectly. You don't want to arch up your back and start to put pressure on your lumbar spine. We want to avoid that. Let's keep working, we're doing well. We've got five seconds to go, Marilyn. One last thing on the other side. And we're done. Well done, you guys. You got through your workout for today. Let's turn our attention to our in-house instructor for three minutes of stretching.